My name is Rupi Kaur and I am a spoken word artist and author. When I first started to write, I was writing to kind of, like I didn't really have like a purpose or like a thesis, kind of like, okay, this is what I want to write about and this is what it's going to sound like. It was literally just me finding a form of expression that was so cathartic to me. And I was like, I have to keep going. I didn't plan to ever share my work online. Um, I don't even know why I did. There was one girl following me from Seattle and um, we were kind of like online, like Twitter friends. And then she commented and it was like a poem about sexual abuse. And she commented and she said, your poetry makes me feel like a woman. I don't know, like that comment from all the comments that I've read over the past like two years, like that was the one I read it and I was like, I can't stop now. And it just became like this small community of women that were like, we were finally talking about these things that were just so common, but they were so taboo to discuss. Apparently, it is ungraceful of me to mention my period in public because the actual biology of my body is too real. It is okay to sell what's between a woman's legs more than it is okay to mention its inner workings. The recreational use of this body is seen as beautiful, while its nature is seen as ugly. I'd always had this like photo series on my mind because I've always had like struggled with my period. So I was like, how do I learn how to celebrate this moment? I've always learned how to celebrate my life through my artwork. And I assume that, you know, like my 30,000 followers at that time, they know the type of work that I do, you know, they've read my work, so this is nothing new. And so when I posted it, like everybody was saying such lovely things, you know, like the outcome was exactly how I expected. But it wasn't till a day later when it kind of started to reach outside of my original 30K followers and people started to get angry and I guess people were reporting it and like, like all the nasty comments came at once and I was like sitting in class like, whoa, what do I do? And then 24 hours after posting, Instagram took it down. Like, what the heck? Like, how did somebody, like a human being that like, came from a womb, like how did this person like sit there and think that like this is unsafe? Instagram is like full of pornography and like visuals that are so unintelligent sometimes and are, are so horrific and are so harmful to us. And you're gonna tell me like that's harmful? Like, ugh, I, it was just disappointment. And I was like, I'm gonna do it again. Like, how dare you? And that's when it literally turned from like, it just turned from being like a small project to like my form of protest. But of course, eight hours later, they took it down again. And so this time I posted this screenshot of like them telling me that it was removed. I posted on Facebook when I got home that day that like this had happened and I was like in this moment of like anger and passion. And I wrote this like supercharged message. And um, I came home and the post had like 4 million hits. And I was like, why did I do that? Like, I just kept myself into trouble. <laughs> and then after that, I went to bed. I woke up and both of my photos were back. In like, what world do you get to like force this corporation to like give that back to you? Like that never happens. Without further ado, if you could all help me welcome to the stage, Miss Ruby Core. You know, all these people came for this photo, but like, are they even gonna stay for the poetry? Like, I wish they came for the poetry instead. But you know, they have stayed for the poetry and it's been really good. And so it's just been learning how to like, take that as like a good thing because I'm such a nervous person that I forget to enjoy the moment. I am water, soft enough to offer life, tough enough to drown it away. <laughs>